What is up everyone? Welcome to Assassin's Creed Valhalla weekly reset of the week. Every Tuesday we cover the a weekly reset in this masterpiece RPG open world game. So whoopee doo we got it. We got the promotion here for Assassin's Creed Mirage. Experience the story of Basim, a cunning street thief with nightmarish visions, seeking answers and justice as he navigates the bustling streets of the 9th century Baghdad through a mysterious ancient organization known as the Hidden Ones. He will become a deadly master assassin and change his fate in ways he never could have imagined. Freaking hype. Hype. 2023 cannot come faster, boys. Come on, please. 2023, come on, please. Come as fast as you can, please. I beg you. But back to the topic. So we're going to be continuing and we're going to be doing the a, a weekly reset. We're going to be checking what Red has in store for us. And as you can see, I'm rocking the items from the last a weekly reset and we're getting a couple of frame drops. So this sexy, amazing hammer and this freaking shield that came with the Tyrannus pack was at the Redda shop last week. All right. And I just want to point out for, for those of you that do not know, uh, Tomb, Tombs, Tombs of the uh, of Fallen Part 2 is actually coming finally. Free DLC, baby. Next week, Giraffe just currently uh, covered it on Twitter. He made a, a video, a really great video on it, so you guys can go check it out. It's an excellent video. So as you can see, the a, a reason why the map, I mean, this is not my profile to let you know. I'm currently playing on my homies profile because he's grinding Valhalla on my account because he still cannot find the Series X or PS5. Um, he's still on the Xbox One and PS4, but Valhalla is, is a favorite game of all time. So what I'm doing is when he's not here, I'm just grinding and I'm doing the exploration stuff. I'm doing the open world activities. I'm getting the wealth and the mysteries and artifacts because I enjoy that so much. Well, except for the mysteries because he said he wants to do the mysteries for himself because he really uh, loves the mysteries. But he's like a, a mini focus on the main story and uh, sometimes he gets the wealth and the artifacts. And also he still has to do the a mythical story. So that's why you guys see all of this here. Like, look at this. I'm not... I used to seeing a quest tab like this all all full. So yeah, so we're so we're gonna go to Reda right now on my friend's account. Which it doesn't really matter because um my stats are gonna tra are gonna transfer over into because if you uh, log in through the uh, Ubisoft Connect app, so what happens is it's gonna transfer uh, once you go back and you play on your console. Which is really Amazing. So if I play on my Series X, that means, and then I play on the PS5, and then I I'll log into my Ubisoft Connect app, it's gonna transfer all my progress, all my stats, and everything I have in Valhalla, which is freaking incredible. Now, what is that? A weekend agent's hold on Oxford in the Shire. We have a quest, dude. I was uh, I was in the middle of the main story. No, not, not me. I mean, he was. All right. To two boys. Okay, this is actually a really great week. So we got the Imperial Tree for Opal, which I'm actually gonna get because it looks sexy. It does need a little more variety. Yes, it does, Reda. It does. It does. Then we have the Knight of the Round Table Shield for Opal, and eh, maybe we can skip that. Charlemagne Hood, Divine Quality. So this is above a mythical rarity. 120 Opal. We got to add some of your armor to your stun when equipped. Additional increase the armor when equipped. We got the Drag Assault type of Opal, eh, skip that. Twilight Pants, um, increase fire buildup and speed when equipped. Ice Shards and Light, a finisher, Lava Burst on a heavy finisher. So if you guys did not pre-order Dawn of uh, uh, Ragnarok, then you do not get the Twilight Armor set. And by the way, that's my most highest viewed video on my YouTube channel. I got like, I currently have 29,000 views on that video, so please go check it out. It's way back from December. So... This is a really good armor set, but you should start uh, collecting it because I think they're slowly going to add the pieces to Reda. Frozen Tomb Hall 35 Opal, eh, skip that. Then we got the Blood Elf Eye Wrapped Solar for 120 Opal. Increase heavy damage when equipped. Equipping only one two-handed weapon will increase speed. Bonus is removed when receiving damage. Interesting. Well, this is one is really interesting. 120 Opal right there. Have a good day. So so far I only got the tree. Got a contract for me. There are contracts for killing. And we're gonna do the contracts. 
So I'm I'm, I'm basically doing the the red contracts on my on my friend's account. So whatever I'm doing right now is gonna transfer over to my to my Ubisoft a uh, connect progress. I will see you later, friend. So long, farewell. All right, let's get this. Let's equip the tree. The new one, of course. Right there. Let's see how it looks. If I don't like it, I'll, I'll put it back to the watch. Ooh. Wow, very nice. It comes with a statue. I mean, that's actually pretty cool. It comes with a, a Charlemagne, King Charlemagne. I mean, this is actually a really cool tree. It's, there's a chest right there. Oh, look, there's a whelp. I like it. I like it a lot. Soon and guide me. Oh, oh, that's the. Oh, my friend still has to do the tombs of the fallen. I'm not gonna uh, do that for him because I'm pretty sure he wants to enjoy that for himself. But first, we're gonna get the contract. Obviously, there's the a weekly right there. I, I was not paying attention. Was it two dailies or in a one weekly, or was it one daily or in a one weekly? The world of Assassin's Creed Valhalla is massive and full of exciting. I didn't get a chance to read it. Dude, I'm always like surprised how impressive the draw a distance is in Valhalla. Best price my hood had. It's absolutely breathtaking. Okay, Eivor just cloaked himself while he was freaking doing the leap of fate. I mean, how beast is that? Get him. Next one, bro. Come on, let's go. Right there, look at this. Got him. Easy assassination. Yeah, but you can tell they really did improve the uh, stealth system, especially now you can uh, fully uh, customize it. You can make it so like you can like adjust the a, a detection meter and like how fast you want and how slow do you want. And when you're in stealth mode, uh, basically in the cloak mode, the AI is even like a much more better improved. I think they improved the stealth in the 1.1.3.5 update, which was before the a 60 FPS patch for Origin. So that was before June. So we got that update in probably. And probably may. I better not fucking die right now. Good. See the break pop skill is so look everyone's limping, that's so cool. It is a consumer ration. You never know. Hey, come here. But yeah, I know everyone's super hyped for Mirage and everyone's like dying to know more information, but just keep it cool and we're probably gonna hear more information during the uh, game awards. We might get either a new trailer. I don't think it's gonna be a cinematic trailer. I think it's gonna be a full-on gameplay trailer, which is gonna be freaking sweet and amazing. So the Game Awards is on December 8th. So I don't know if Ubisoft is gonna have a presence there. Because... They might, because we still don't have the exact release date for Mirage. Like, we don't have the exact release date for Mirage. So they might hold off on it until uh, next year to share more information, you know? Oh, there they are. Alright, we're, we're gonna get this, and someone's gonna see me right now. Great, I didn't get a chance to even get them. Come on. Come on, come on. Boom. Watch this, boys. Boom. The focus of knowing you're OP as hell. Hell yeah. You're gone. Boom. Sit down, son. That's right, that's right. Easy, bro. The focus of knowing you're coming in clutch. 
There we go. Oh my god, let's go, baby. Here we go. That's right. Come on, come on, come on. Is that the best you got? Doggy. I love that ability so much. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Just like that, just like that. God, that. Ooh. That's gonna leave a mark. Alright, let's confirm this. So yeah, as I was saying, I don't think Ubisoft, the Ubisoft gods are gonna have a presence at the Game Awards. Because they just literally had their own uh, showcase. Like two weeks ago. It's crazy how it's been already two weeks, right? It's since the uh, Ubisoft uh, showcase. And, we, and we've been waiting for that since June. They announced it in June. We're like, oh, September 10? That's so far away. Why? Why can't it come any uh, sooner? Then here we are. It finally came. Okay, that was a weird mark. Okay, let's get this. I really like this. I want to be a Mjolnir, but it's still really OP. The perks on... The stats on it are, are really great. Wow, that's gorgeous, bro. Alright, let me see this. So on this, we got increased stun when in combat. Bonus decreases. The longer you remain in combat until the minimum bonus to reach, cooldown is triggered when exiting combat. Stacks 4 times, duration 10 seconds, cooldown 20 seconds, bonus 40 plus to 10 stun. And you combine this with this, increase stun after a block. Uh, that's why I always have this shit with that hammer. You get a bonus of 25 stun in the last 10 seconds. So this is a really great combo. As you can see, I got... There you go, boys. Let's get it. Let's get it. That's right. Let's call our long ship. Ooh. Just like that, boys. Oh, there was a a mini boat over here. And I didn't know. Well, I guess I can take this to my long ship. There we go. <laughs> That's so funny. I took a mini boat. Just, just get my long trip. Let's go, boys. Sing my, ravens. Sing my ravens. Here we go, boys. Where's my favorite song? Oh, yeah. I love this song. Here we go. Let's go kill the target. So after we complete this, I'll go back to Red Down. I'll go. I'll go back to Red Down. I'm gonna rate the a wiki reset. Oh, there we go. Oh, I could have raided this place, but that's fine. I'll, I'll just do it stealthy. And look, he's all the way up there. Guards here are vigilant. Yes, Avor, they are. There we go, boys. Get him, get him, get him. Just like that. Easy clutch, boys. What did I say? No, he's gonna see me! Boom. Too late. Gotcha. And that was the daily. They just had to kill one guy. Easy. Alright. Now let's gotta shuffle back to Ravenstrope. Perfect. There we go. The world of Assassin's Creed Valhalla is massive and full of interesting items and opportunities. Take your time and explore the wildness to find the new locations and unique rewards. Perfect a definition of why Valhalla is a masterpiece. So much content for your money. 
because games now uh, like modern gaming now is like so many publishers and developers make really short games We're like oh but we have amazing graphics oh but there's so many cutscenes like uh, that's why i hate the god of war a reboot it's basically yeah it's a really great movie but it's not worth 70 bucks to play a, a 10 hour campaign just watch it on YouTube. Fuck. I'm tired of this. And it's always a Sony. It's always the PlayStation exclusives that always do that same shit over and over and over again. Like, in, in the beginning, it was great when they were doing it with the uh, Naughty Dog games, with Uncharted and The Last of Us. But then every other PlayStation exclusive uh, a studio was copying that uh, formula. They were making really short games that were very cinematic with great graphics too but just not worth 70 80 bucks and now standard games are not a 60 bucks anymore they're either 70 or 80 a standard game it's insane what do you have what do you today have? so yeah so the a, a weekly reset i'm going to give this an a really great 8 out of 10. i i recommend to get the toilet pants if you do if you never pre-ordered don of ragnarok shaman hood is not that interesting I, I also recommend this one, and the tree is pretty cool. Thank yeah, you. I eight. Am sure I will see you back again soon. Yes, you will, Reda. So eight out of ten this week. I must take my leave. So long. So I'm currently see gonna again. stream Valhalla tomorrow with two of my homies. So catch me on Twitch. I'm gonna leave the link in my bio on YouTube so you can catch my Twitch channel there. But yeah, this was really fun. Can't wait for next week. Hopefully, a Tombs in the Fallen Part 2 is going to come upon us. That's going to be really exciting and interesting. So, yeah, guys. And like always, I really hope you enjoy the content. Please make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more AC. Because it's Assassin's Creed for life. Especially Valhalla. Alright, guys. Peace out.